all right what is up everybody coming back at you with another video on the channel today and it has been a new knife week let me tell you uh started off here with the new luff concepts avnt followed it up with the old glycon right there from microtech uh, both those videos are, are out go check them out and we are finishing it up with a grail i have been chasing for a while um so i have came across this on a couple different drops probably three or four and i missed it every time i mean i was there trying to buy it but i couldn't get one and dlt did a drop on like wednesday or thursday and i missed it and uh, i was pretty pissed i was really trying to get a frag pattern on that one um and this is the 3.5 inch version you can get the three inches they stay in stock for a little bit but the three fives go quick um so the day after that i just happened to be scrolling through the knife sites like i do 10 to 15 times a day you know like your normal knife guy and i hopped on river's edge cutlery and uh boom uh saw one in stock couldn't believe it snagged it the frags were still sold out but i was able to get this one this is the mcnees pm mac 2 3.5 pm stands for performance machine it is the matte atomic stonewash blade excuse me with the green and bronze atomic stonewash handles super nice box here there we go made in the usa let's get into it and i have some a few of my other usa made knives here i've also got a knife we'll kind of compare this one to it's not just a knife it's an experience yes sir it is comes in this nice pouch um again guys check out river's edge cutlery they're awesome guys over there customer service is outstanding let's get into the stuff you get a nice made in the usa sticker nice yet simple we'll check out the uh coa real quick it is metal thick metal McNeese performance machine mac 2 3.5 and magna cut titanium handle the hardware is stainless steel now this is a 2022 card i bought this uh mid january of 2023 so i'm sure they made this you know recently it does kind of suck i would prefer 2023 card but we are just in january so it's all right didn't realize the hardware was stainless steel it's only two screws and a pivot and he offers a titanium hardware kit on his website he also offers a backspacer, which I have ordered. So I've got the geared stonewashed backspacer on the way. But here is the knife, guys. And um, simple, uh, yet awesome. Let's get a flick. Oh, yes. Now you can see my thumb here. It's actually bit me twice. Um, just from letting it drop, I had my thumb at the wrong angle. And uh, it came down and caught me there. Uh, so that's one thing to be careful of. Just make sure you turn your thumb up to where it hits your nail. And we'll just get some action shots here. Oh, it's so good. It's so good, guys. Oh, yes. Okay. So let's check it out. I'm almost positive this is a hollow grind. I think on some of the newer stuff, he did start doing hollow grinds. I've got quite a few knives with hollow grinds. And to me, this feels like a hollow grind. I guess I can check real quick. Uh, yeah, definitely a hollow grind. So this is in fact a hollow ground CPM Magna Cut blade, 3.5 inches of blade. I think it's 7.7, 7.8 inches overall. The main thing with this knife is you get a lot of blade for the overall size. You get that nice 3.5 inches of blade and a very compact overall size uh, for what you're getting there. Now with the handle, it's very comfortable. The ergonomics are slightly simple, but just very, very good. You get some very nice jimping there. It's not too rough. You can really lock in with it. You get that choke up a little bit. You can come back here. Get in close here, this atomic stone washed, and it's almost like a, let's see if you can see it there, like a grid, like a machined. 
don't know. It's hard to describe there, but you can see it. It's your McNeese Performance Machine. Flip it over here. The USA and your Magna Cut. Check out those thumb studs. Those are sweet. Now, uh, obviously a frame lock knife. You do get a milled titanium pocket clip. A lot of people hate on this clip. I don't have too many issues with it. My only issue is where it sticks up there. Sometimes it's hard to get into your pants, but it worked pretty well for me. Um, one good thing I will say about it is it is not a hot spot at all. Um, you really do not feel that clip. Um, so that's just a definite plus for me. Being a lefty, not that big of a deal though, um, even if you could. Um, Man, I just, uh, like I said, I've wanted this for a long time, and I, I'm glad to finally get one. Now, the action, when I first got it, wasn't great. Um, I mean, it was good, but people just ran and rave about the action on this knife. Um, so, it would drop to my thumb, but then it would take a couple shakes. Um, so, I went ahead and disassembled it, cleaned the bearings. It does have steel bearings. Um, cleaned the bearings, wiped it down, reassembled it. It's got the full pass-through screws where they screw straight into the titanium over here. So that is still going into titanium. So just be slightly careful. Just don't over tighten and strip it out. Um, you know, I was very careful not to do that. Um, I didn't put any Loctite on these because I'm expecting to get that uh, machine backspacer in the next week or so. I did put some Loctite on the pivot just so it didn't walk while I was breaking it in. And um, got it pretty well centered here. And as you can see, guys, action is fantastic. Oh, yes. Smooth yet slightly controlled. Um, zero blade play. No lock rock. I mean, it is locked up solid. Um, no lock bar insert here no steel lock bar insert it is carbonized you do have a ceramic um, bearing there for your detent and the detent is really really good on this guy you can tell um, when you just give it the little push there to really snap it out uh, left-handed oh yes oh man action is just really really good now these thumb studs you can see from the back here they do slightly stick out so you can technically just run across the uh i'm left-handed guys you can just run across the titanium here and catch one uh, if you're not uh apparently stupid like me there we go um but with that detent it's really snappy uh, just pops that guy out there and um yeah it, it is very well made now these are made in uh McNeese shop in alabama um pretty sure he does pretty much everything in-house that's why it's stainless steel hardware like i said he does have the titanium hardware he said it's made by tie connector um which is cool and uh yeah I, i'm really digging it now one thing of note when you go to disassemble the knife the screws come out from this side but your pivot is pressed in on this side so you need to unscrew your pivot from the lock bar side and then you know unscrew from this side it's a little weird um, but you know it is what it is it came apart fine for me went back together well really excited to get that backspacer in here i think that'll really kind of finish it off there um, i think it'd be cool if he did some sort of aftermarket clip like I said, it, it's not in the way at all, and that's almost the problem. Sometimes it's kind of hard to slide it into your pocket. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm really digging this thing. It has got a laser beam of an edge on it. Um, I know some people were complaining that... Uh, I, I guess some people, went, and these are a little bit older videos, were saying their edges weren't great. But I'll show you what I got here. Oh, just effortless. I got this piece. We'll do a little slicing here. And it really bites. Um, it just really bites in. Kind of 
kind of see there. Like once it catches, it really digs in. Um, so yeah, fantastic edge on mine. Just effortless through the paper there. It, it's just done really, really well, guys. Um, it is done really well. Like I said, the lockup, nice and solid there. Probably about 20, 30%, right where you want it starting out. Plenty of life. D10 is fantastic. Um, action after a little bit of adjustment, as you can see, is everything you would want it to be. I really do like these thumb studs. Uh, you can see them a little bit better there. Oh yeah, this is a keeper. Uh, like I said, this is one I've been wanting for a while. They sell out insanely fast. Um, so I was very excited to get one, uh, especially on DLT. Well, also metal complex shout out to him but he advertised the drop that was coming on dlt and when i saw that i was like yeah there's no way i'm getting one i don't know how people do it so fast they must be on a desktop with their home internet or something um that lets them check out so fast um but yeah now this atomic bronze uh green slash bronze i didn't love it out of the box it's starting to grow on me a little bit um, that atomic finish is, is actually pretty cool. You can get it on the blade too. Um, I got just the normal stonewashed backspacer. Um, just nice and simple. Match the hardware. And um, I think it'll look really good with that backspacer in here. Uh, closed. It's pretty compact overall. Now a little comparison I want to do with another expensive American made knife. Is the Medford Slim Midi. And it's also on bearings. So you can see very similar in size. Um, ooh, very close, open as well. Um, yeah, so two great American made knives. Now this one comes in at 495, the frag versions are 565, I believe, or, or 595, um, but for what you're getting, you know, made in America, there in Alabama, uh, most of the stuff, if not everything, is done in-house, and it's it's just done fantastically well. I might put skiffs in it, but I don't know. This action's so good. I'll see once I get the backspacer in there, see how I get it back together, um, if I can keep this same action. I see no point in putting skiffs in there. I, you know, some people, ah, oh, skiffs, skiffs, skiffs. I touch the knife, I put skiffs in it. And while that's cool, you know, sometimes skiffs do help. Like on my Slim Mini here, I've got skiffs in it. Um, you know, I didn't notice much of a difference. Um, it made the lock up or the overall feel a little more solid. Um, but with this thing, it, it's so solid as far as no blade play. Absolutely no lock rock. Um, yeah, I, I think it's done really well there. Um, overall, I really dig this thing. I do believe it's going to stay around for a while. Like I said, it's a grail for a while to get a hold of. Um, the ones like this that are so hard to get a hold of, most of the time I'll hang on to it. Um, but yeah, that is the McNeese PM Mac 2 3.5 inch. Um, I'm really digging it. Might do a little bit of an update. Let's get that backspacer in there. You order that directly from the McNeese website. Um, got a priority mouse. Hopefully, they'll ship it out pretty quick. But yeah, and I don't know. Like I said, it's just it's a simple design, but it's just perfected. Um, I really love the look. The blade to handle is fantastic. Uh, you get a lot of blade for the handle. Ergos are spot on. Um, the thun studs are really good to use. It's just all there. Um, it is all there. Um, the fit and finish is oh, it's very, very good. Um, so overall, I would absolutely recommend if you can get one of these and you have the opportunity, I would definitely recommend grabbing one. Oh, check that action out. Oh, yes, she's breaking in. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, McNeese nice PM Mac 2 3.5. Appreciate you guys watching. Check out some of my other videos to see all these awesome knives. Feel free to subscribe, trying to get to a thousand, and have yourself a great day.